Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and today is Columbus Day. I just want to do a quick video. You may have heard that Christopher Columbus enslaved some of the native populations down there in the Caribbean. Liberals love to point this out. And while it's true, it doesn't tell the whole story of what happened. On October 12th, 1492, after 36 days of sailing westward across the Atlantic, Columbus and several crewmen set foot on an island in the present-day Bahamas, claiming it for Spain. There, his crew encountered a timid but friendly group of natives who were open to trade with the sailors, exchanging glass beads, cotton balls, parrots, and spears. The Europeans also noticed bits of gold natives wore for adornment. Columbus and his men continued their journey, visiting the islands of Cuba, which he thought was mainland China, and Hispaniola, now Haiti and Dominican Republic, which Columbus thought might be Japan, and meeting with the leaders of the native population. Now here's where it gets interesting. During this time, Santa Maria was wrecked on a reef off the coast of Hispaniola. With the help of some islanders, Columbus men salvaged what they could and built a settlement. Villa de la Navidad, otherwise known as Christmas Town in English, with lumber from the ship. So in other words, they built homes for themselves I mean, what do you expect them to do? There wasn't going to be any rescue ships taken back or anything like that. So they had to do something. Three nine men stayed behind to occupy the settlement. Convinced that his exploration had reached Asia, he set, home, so set sail for home with the two remaining ships. Returning to Spain in 1493, Columbus gave a glowing, somewhat exaggerated report and was warmly received by the royal court. In 1493, Columbus took to the seas on a second expedition and explored more islands in the Caribbean Ocean. Upon arrival at Hispaniola, Columbus and his crew discovered the Navidad settlement had been destroyed with all sailors massacred. That's right, these uh, nice friendly natives massacred the entire peaceful settlement. 39 men were killed by them. Or however many. Well, at least three dozen. Spring, which is a local queen who found slavery offensive, Columbus established a forced labor pol policy over the native population to rebuild the settlement and explore for gold, believing it would be profitable. His efforts produced small amounts of gold and great hatred among native population. So that's the reason why. Uh, his men were massacred, and he was not happy with this. Obviously not. And how would you feel? They uh, built that settlement out of the uh, lumber from the ship because they had to have some place to live, and then the peaceful natives massacred them. Gee. Uh, what's wrong with that? According to the average liberal, there's nothing wrong with the natives massacring them. And then, of course, he established forced labor camp, I would say, to punish them. Just thought you'd like to know that, because, as usual, liberals have twisted and uh, changed history to suit themselves. Which is nothing new, they do that all the time. Columbus was a great explorer and he deserves all the credit that he can get for what he did. He wasn't a perfect person, he got in trouble with the Queen or whatever, but, uh... He got in trouble with the Spanish Crown. So they sent a royal official and arrested him and stripped him of his authority. 
he returned to Spain in chains to face the royal court. Charges were later dropped, but Columbus lost his titles as governor of the Indies, and for a time much of the riches made during his voyages. So basically, he was, you know, his people were murdered. And he put the uh, people, the, the native people, to work rebuilding the colony. <laughs> Maybe uh, they would have just left if that hadn't happened. But that's history for you. I'm Artifacts Mars, thought you'd like to know this. Next time the liberal gives you a ration and uh, tells you how bad Columbus was, just tell them that he didn't appreciate his men being massacred like that. I mean, where could they go? They had to do something. They built a settlement because their ship was destroored. What do you expect them to do? I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.